Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Denali and I am a full-time online clothing reseller on websites like eBay and Poshmark. You can find me on Instagram at El Ducho Thrift. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit the button down below and hit the thumbs up if you enjoy my content. Okay, so today I am back with my car series chat where I sit in my car and sometimes I have a coffee. Today I have coffee, so cheers if you are having yours as well. What I wanted to talk about today was killing your death pile. First off, let's establish what is a death pile in the reseller community. What do we refer to that as? And generally, a death pile is referred to or known as a backstock of clothing that has become a problem for you. You're not listing it. You haven't sold it. You've got a ton of it. You're maybe continuing to source more clothing when you already have lots that you should be listing. Some people might call that a hoarder, but we won't. We're going to call that your death pile. Other people call call it a money pile. It's just a more positive or fun term or spin on the term that it's essentially a pile of money that you just have yet to list. You know, you can call it what you want, but it's unlisted inventory. And at some point it does become a problem. Now, I think that there are a few different types of money piles or death piles that exist. And let's talk about those or different types of personalities as well. Let's just say that there are people who have no death piles. They run week to week on inventory. The minute they bring something home, it's getting listed, put into inventory, and they're off to the races again, thrifting their next great item. The next category of person would be somebody who has a maybe small to mid-size death pile, but it's totally manageable. They've got a hold on it. And actually some of that death pile is probably intentional. Maybe they don't get out of the house some weeks and so they can dip into that when they need to. Maybe there's a global pandemic and if push comes to shove, you've got this stockpile of items that you can open up and start listing if needed. I would say the next type of person is somebody who is maybe thrifting too much or received too much inventory or something's come up in your life and you've started to accumulate more work for yourself than you actually have a hold on. The last type of person I would say is, you know, we can again call it a hoarder, but it's somebody who has piles and piles of unlisted inventory and maybe the number of items that are in unlisted inventory are much greater uh, than the item than the number of items that are in listed inventory. So I think that's four different categories I put there. You already know which one you're in. I don't need to tell you, but let's talk about what we can do. If you're in those last two that I mentioned, what can we do to bring you up to speed? So I think the first thing that we need to look at is the pile itself. How much stuff do we have? How did we get here and, and move on from it quickly? So how did we get here? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. You may have, like I said, thrifted too many items. You like thrifting too much, right? You like shopping. Okay, let's establish that. Or something's come up in your life and this stuff that you thrifted a while back, it's just not getting listed and it continues to sit there. The third one, I don't even know what the third one would be, but essentially there's just a lot of stuff and it's not being taken care of. I'm gonna go ahead and stop and say, let's forgive ourselves. If you have this big death pile and you're fretting about it and you it upsets you when you look at it, it's okay. If you need forgiveness, I'm giving you forgiveness today. It's okay. You're not the only person out there. Lots of people have death piles. Lots of people are in this situation who have this job, okay? It's just about how you bounce back from it. So it's okay. If you're there, let's move on now. Let's attack the pile. Now let's look at the pile and what are we going to do with it? Be honest with yourself. How how long has it been sitting here? If it's only been sitting a couple of weeks and maybe you're in a better position today to start tackling it, then great, we're going to do that. However, if that pile has been sitting there for a long time and you continue to not work on it and it's very intentional that you're not working on it, even if you wanted to work on it, you probably physically couldn't in some way, then we have to have a different approach to that. For the latter of those two scenarios, I need you to look at that that pile and think about how can we liquidate 
this inventory. There's a few different options. We've got some consignment websites that we can send stuff off to. Threadup.com is one of them. There's also another website called Swap.com. Flip, F-L-Y-P, which is peer-to-peer -peer online consignment. We've got the Real Real, and then we've got brick and mortar buy sell trade stores like a Plato's Closet, a Buffalo Exchange, et cetera, et cetera. If I'm missing a consignment website, please feel free to chime in with one that you know about. Now, ThreadUp is a very popular one in the reseller community. And I think a lot of times people will say, well, I can't get labels. I know that for some people, they've started to get labels again. So just check your account to see if you can get more labels, but you need the stuff out of your place at this point. So send it off. One thing that we have to stop doing is romanticizing the items that we thrifted that we haven't sold. There's nothing in that pile, unless it's like Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Christian Dior. We're talking high, high-end designer. There's nothing in that pile that you can't liquidate and that you would then just forget about tomorrow. It's really true. If you got rid of all of that stuff today, by next week, you would feel so much better with all of it gone. Okay, so we need to liquidate that stuff. Get that stuff into piles, out of that, you know, put it in the boxes, get it out of the house. Let's start over from square one. If you are in that other group that I mentioned, uh, you've gotten a little bit behind, but you think you can catch up. So my recommendation here is getting that big pile all in one place. All the things that you haven't listed, let's get it all into one place. And let's start making piles for each day of the week that you think that you can work on it. For instance, if you resell full time, think about the days that you can commit to it. So a full time person, for, let's say five days, part time person, three days, make five different piles. How much do you think realistically you can photograph and list each day for a full time person? Let's say five days and you have an eight hour work day. How many items can you photograph and then also commit to listing in that day? And if the thought of even beginning overwhelms you, then start that pile off with just 10 items. 10, I think is completely manageable. It's a totally doable number. So grab from that pile 10 items that you will work on the first day. Grab that pair of Chico's pants. You know, I love me a Chico's brand, right? Grab the Adidas hoodie. Grab the Nike leggings. Put them in the pile. That's day one, okay? Right now we have day one. 10 is totally manageable. So photograph those items, get them photographed it, you can do it, and then sit down at your computer or on your phone or wherever you list and list those 10 items. You can do it, I promise you, don't overthink it. You know, a bad listing is better than no listing. Now, we don't love a bad listing, but a bad listing is better than no listing. So just get it listed on the platform and put it away in inventory. So all of these 10 items have to go through the life cycle. You have to photograph it, you have to list it, and then you have to put it away into inventory. You gotta do all three because we need those 10 items gone. And then then what we're going to do additionally is make piles for the rest of the week. So if you think you can do another 10 tomorrow and we're gonna just gonna do 10 for our first full week, so it's gonna be 50, we're gonna have five piles, 10 items each, and just have them set out for yourself so you can look ahead. Here's my workload for the next few days so that tomorrow when you get up and you after you have your coffee and your breakfast, you're just gonna go and you're gonna grab that pile and work on the next 10 items until we get to the bottom of that death pile. Now, if you look at that pile and you're like, well, Denali, there's like, I don't know, we'll say 300 items there. That's gonna take me a while, okay? So you either need to give up thrifting for a while. I know, it sucks. But you either need to give up thrifting or sourcing for a while so that nothing new comes into that pile or you need to do what the other folks are doing and you need to send stuff out for consignment. Consider doing that as well. There's still m good money in consignment. You will likely make your money back at least or profit. Just consider liquidating some of that pile that you can if you are able to. But the main overarching theme here is to make it manageable for yourself and don't bite off more you can than you can chew and also forgive yourself for getting to the position that you're in now. It may or may not be your fault, but don't continue to harp on yourself for getting here. Just move Move on, move forward, because continuing to look at the death pile will continue to make you feel 
like crap. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't look good. Clutter is a bad thing for a reason, even if it's inventory. So make those manageable piles and get started listing and do it in bite-sized chunks. And if you can do more than 10, do, do a bonus five for the day, right? If you're like, oh my gosh, I did it. That's awesome. Then do a bonus five. Grab another five items and do that or grab another one item and then another one and then another one and they eventually equal five or 10. But I promise you can do it. You can get over this hump. I've been here. I am still here sometimes, guys. <laughs> it doesn't ever go away, I promise. Um, but we can get back on track together, I promise. So anyway, that's all my tips for you guys today. If you have tips on catching up with your death pile, please leave a comment down below. Let other folks know what you find to be helpful in your business. I hope this was you know, helpful or gave you a little kick in the pants if you needed it. I hope you all have a great rest of your week. Talk to you soon. Bye.